praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 says, Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is come upon you. And verse 2 says, Darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But God is saying, He has caused His light to shine upon us, even during this gross darkness. I'm reminded also of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. He said, you are the light of the world. You know, light is appreciated more when it is dark. And I believe that even as COVID-19 covers the earth with darkness, hopelessness, anxiety and depression, God is giving us an opportunity to arise and shine for his kingdom even as we go into social media platforms and preach jesus that he is the answer that he is the solution that he is the king of kings and the lord of lords even during this time god is giving us an opportunity even as we are locked down in our houses to find time and pray pray for our pastors pray for our church leaders that God will give them platforms to bring hope to this dying world in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for your workmates, most of which don't even know the Lord. This is the time to send them some scriptural you know, uh, encouragement. This is the time to encourage them, to, to pray for them. Call them and say, can I pray with you? I believe that this is the time when they will actually say, yes, please let us pray. This is the time that God is giving us to win souls for his kingdom in the name of Jesus. So I want to pray for you today that may God strengthen you. May God give you courage. May God remind you that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That you will rise in power. Lock down in your house like you are. Rise in power and in glory. And speak words of power and speak the light of God over your city, over your town, in Jesus' name, over your neighborhood and over your communities, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as medical science at the moment is still failing, I believe God is giving us an opportunity to bring healing through Jesus to our communities and to our people, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray against depression. I pray against boredom. <laughs> I pray that you will have time with Jesus. An intimate time of worship. Praise God. I'm alone in my house in South Code, but I believe that I'm not alone really. Jesus is with me. I pray for my wife. I pray for my parents back in Botswana. I pray for my pastor right here in Reading. I pray you know, for my live group leader, I, I'm just finding time even to pray about things that have been postponing. God is giving me an opportunity to write songs. God is giving me an opportunity, you know, to pray and to, you know, to, to prepare messages. So I believe that God is actually giving us time to be still, to sit back and relax. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. In other words, when we are still, when we are seated, when we are laid back, that is when God shows up. 